So I got I got, I got a question for you. I don't oh, know if boy. it was before, before Toronto or after Toronto, there were whispers, and that's because I'm a D.C. native, that you were about to be the head coach of D.C. United. Yeah. And I saw headlines, it's done, contract signed, it's done, agreed, and then all of a sudden it didn't happen. It was done, it was, wow. meaning we didn't agree. We, we were, It was done, meaning I wow. want you, and thank God you want me. I love it. Let's go. We got there, and we – and uh, it, it, it fell apart at the very end. Um, the contract talk, it was, it was honestly, listen, I, I'm not going to say much more than um, I was set to go there. And, and uh, you know, no one makes you sign a contract. And I was going to sign a contract for, for a few years, less money than I was making. Even It doesn't even matter. I wanted to coach that team because I saw – I wanted to work at Paul Ariola. I thought some guys in that team were really interesting. And the Donovan Pines, these guys were really interesting to me. The, the Paredes, some of these young Paredes, players were interesting yeah. to me. And I said, okay, this is something. They're, they're, they need direction, and I think I can help. But um, it's the first time that I saw a negotiation kind of just get taken off the table. Um, and it, like and the last that, minute, like last minute, literally last just minute. like just pull the rug out from under you. It's just people make decisions. Yeah, I'm not part of their discussion. This right. Maybe they had a change of heart, but we were right there. Um, so and I was and, and and it was and I knew Toronto wanted to speak. And I said, no, I want to go here. I told my agent that I want to work with this team. And, oh, you can make double the money. Want to work with uh, D.C. United. Um, and I felt they believed in me, which they, maybe they did, but, um, ironically they kicked our ass, uh, DC kicked Toronto's ass. That was the last game I coached for it. We lost like seven, one <laughs> again, you know, on those days you feel like a terrible coach, but they just um, get, they just get jobs from Manchester United. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 